Hey, how you doing? Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're doing today is we are replacing some bushings inside the shock mounts. Uh, now, this shock is off of Sportster, but this is really universal to all motorcycles with rear shocks, with twin rear shocks on them, and probably even some of the mono shock designs. But mostly we're focusing on the twin rear shocks design, which is most of your standard Japanese bikes, your cruisers, things like that. Um, so these little shock eyelet, the rubber around the little shock eyelet there, the rubber, yeah, they get worn out. And then it droops down inside there and then the thing bounces up and down as you hit bumps. So we're going to cover pressing these out. I picked up some new ones from our friends at Lowbrow and uh, we're gonna uh, press those ones in there. So let's get to it. All right, so as you can see right here, uh, the eyelet is way down uh, in relation to the center line of the bolt here. Um, because obviously this rubber eyelet has broken down a little bit so this is flapping around in here every time we hit a bump so that's what we're going to replace today all right all we really need for this is some sockets and a vise no real special tools in any way shape or form so uh we're going to do we have our old shock here we're going to find a socket that is the size of this inner bushing. Ideally, we want to push the inner bushing out, and then that will then we'll be able to push the rubber bushing out also. So we're going to find a socket that is about the same diameter as this metal ring as a backing support. And if it creeps out of the rubber, that's okay as well. And then we're going to find a socket that is the size of this inner metal sleeve that's in here. And that way, when we have those on each side and we compress with the vise, it will push the metal sleeve through into the other socket, and more importantly, out of the eyelet. Then we'll be able to just pop the rubber out with a screwdriver. So, let's get to that. All right, so in this case, we are, we have a, what is this, half inch drive? I think it's a one inch. Thanks for not labeling your socket, Snap-on. Uh, yeah, I think it's a one inch. Um, so we have a one inch socket here, and we are going to put that in there, and I'm gonna try and line up a little bit even though the I'm sure we're gonna go this side it looks like it'll fit a little better that way the rubber kind of goes down into the socket this won't be a perfect fit you're gonna have to improvise a little bit then from there we have a half inch socket half inch deep well socket and ideally we're going to clamp all this in the vise then use the vise power to press it out only reason I'm using a deep well is I don't want the socket to get in, stuck inside the rubber bushing in place of the steel sleeve that was in there. So, I'm going to line it all up like so and start compressing with the vise like slow. So, I didn't do it right here, but it probably would not have hurt to put a little WD 40 on this socket or some form of penetrating oil. It would help the thing slide better and keep the socket from getting stuck inside the rubber bushing. But we cranked in there until it stops. We back it on out. Boom, there's our old sleeve. And now our socket is stuck inside the rubber eyelet. A few taps from a punch. Let me get a punch and hammer. I'll drive this sucker right out. So we're gonna take a driver punch there. This might take a little improvising with holding everything up with your hands and your arms, but from here, should be able to just drive the socket right back out of there. Just like so. Now when we do the next one, we'll be sure and put a little WD-40 on there. That way we don't have that problem. Alright, from there, we have to drive this little rubber bushing out. So we should be able to take a flathead screwdriver, hopefully stick it in there, and force it out. I right, do it so you can see it. Once you work it around a little bit, make sure you uh, break the rubber free of the steel shock eyelet. It's been in there a while. Ow. Jam your pinky finger as you're doing it. Ow! Did it again. Put the rubber eyelets out. All right, so uh, these are actually progressive shocks, um, not stock ones. So initially I had purchased stock uh, replacement bushings and then I found out they don't fit. So I had to call Progressive and actually order their stock bushings or their replacement bushings. Same procedure, uh, even if you're doing it on a stock setup, uh, just different size bushings. So be sure you order the right ones. 
Now you can use the uh, vise to hold pressure on the bushing up against the shock mount. Then you can just press the bushing, the edge of the bushing in there with this little flathead screwdriver. Uh, just kind of work it around, you know, back and forth in kind of a crisscross pattern, continually adding a little more pressure on the bushing uh, with the vise. And it should pop right in there. All right, now we got a little better light amp here. You can see where the bushing is pressed mostly about three quarters of the way through. So it's enough that when I take it out of the vise, it's gonna stay in the eyelet. All right, you can see uh, the bushing is pressed almost all the way through here now. So we're just gonna take the sockets as we did before to push it out. We'll take that to hold the metal ring in place here and then push it from the other side with the socket and it'll pop the rest of the way back in. And then we'll take our original steel bushing and press that back down the middle. So, got ourselves, in this case, it's a, I think it's a one inch uh, socket, half inch drive socket. That seems to fit nicely. Uh, so we will use it as support and use the vise to push the rubber bushing all the way in there. Pop it back out. Ta-da, rubber bushing is now all the way in. Now what we have to do is press the steel bushing back in there. I'm gonna take a little uh, PB blaster and put a little wee little bit of lube on this. This is where you could use soapy water too. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so we have a little aerosol lubricant on there. A little too much as usual. Wipe the excess off. We will prop that in place. And again, press this up in the vise. And then press it all the way in there until it stops. And again, take our one inch socket as support. And from here, we'll have to eyeball how far it goes in there. Um, because you don't want to overpress it in, have it go in too far and come out the other side. Looks to be about right. And there you have it. It is slightly off center, but as we mount on the bike, we'll be able to realign that. Ta da! And ta da! Nice solid bushing, much better than the old uh, rod, dry rod out one. Um, so there you have it. Same procedure for the top ones and all the rest of them. Pretty easy to do. That's all I got.